ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله الله تعالى بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا فصلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى اله واصحابه ومن استنى بسنته واهتدى بهديه الى يوم الدين يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل بدعه ضلاله uh, let me begin brothers and sisters by apologizing for the technical difficulties and asking you to please direct your attention here rather than there that the business at hand is the khutbah not the repair of the audio system so please direct your attention here i begin by humbly requesting that we turn off all of these cell phones and pagers and electronic devices which have a tendency to ring at the most inappropriate time and disturb us during our ibadah and i also I also humbly request that you lend me your ear and you open your hearts to what i'm about to say thabata عند مسلم من حديث انس بن مالك ان النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم قال لو كان ابن ادم واد من ذهب لا حب ان له ثانيا ولو كان له واديان لا حب ان يكون له I'm sorry لا حب ان له ثالثا the prophet said the hadith of muslim if the son of adam owned a valley filled with gold he would love to have another one and if he had two valleys filled with gold he would love to have a third wa fi riwayat ukhra latamanna lahu latamanna mithlahu thumma tamanna mithlahu hatta yatamanna awdiya he would long to have another one just like it and another one just like it until he found himself longing to have many valleys filled with gold then he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam wala yamla jawf ibn adam illa turab wa yatubu allah ala man tab he said and nothing will fill the gut of the son of adam except the dirt of his grave and allah will accept and allah will accept the repentance of the one who repents qal kirmani rahimahullah ta'ala 
هو كناية عن الموت فكأنه قال لا يشبع من الدنيا حتى يموت يا اخوان if you're not going to be to fix it then let's just leave it because they can't focus on two things at one time no offense and I appreciate the effort but we can't do both I'm sorry قال الكرماني هو كناية عن الموت فكأنه قال لا يشبع من الدنيا حتى يموت it's as if he said صلى الله عليه وسلم that he will never be satisfied he will never get his full of this world and its material pleasures until he dies and leaves it brothers and sisters what is the message in this hadith what is the message in this hadith it is that mankind men and women alike are by nature discontent inherently greedy intrinsically covetous never satisfied no matter how much we possess what's the big deal you say why is that noteworthy what's the big deal so what we're greedy we love this dunya and we long to have more and more of its toys, trinkets and finery. What's the matter with that? What's the matter with that is that this overpowering covetousness, this overwhelming greed for material things, A, distracts us from the purpose of our creation. We have not been created for things. We were created for one thing, this deen. But this covetousness, this dunya, dominates our thoughts instead of the deen. B, it becomes our greatest priority, such that we care more about making money and having things than we do about worshiping Allah. And C, when the dunya becomes the only thing we care about, we will do anything to obtain it, even haram things. Sacrificing our deen for even the smallest stake in this dunya. As the Prophet said in the hadith of Bihurairah, Yabi'u deenahu bi'arab min a dunya. He will sell his religion for some worldly commodity. So the big deal, brothers and sisters, is that this unbridled covetousness is the greatest threat to our spiritual well-being. If we don't learn how to overcome being greedy, it could potentially destroy us. Which is why Allah says, وَمَن يُوقَ شُحَّ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And whoever is saved from his own covetousness those are the ones who will be successful. And whoever is not saved from his own covetousness, those will be the losers. And the Prophet alluded to this in the other hadith, the hadith of Ka'b ibn Malik, in which he said, مَا ذِئْبَانِ جَاعِئَانِ أُرْسِلَ فِي غَنَمٍ بِأَقْسَدَ لَهَا مِنْ حِرْسِ الْمَرْءِ عَلَى الْمَالِ وَالشَّرَفِ لِدِينِ He said, two hungry wolves let loose on a flock of sheep will not do more harm to them than the harm caused to a man's religion by his yearning for wealth and status. So covetousness and greed, Yehwani, are two bad, sinful things that the believer must free himself from. Which is why the Prophet said at the end of the hadith of Anas, وَيَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَى مَنْ تَابَ And Allah accepts the repentance of the one who repents. So yes, ya ikhwani, we are greedy by nature. And this inherent greed can potentially destroy us. But if we repent from our greedy behavior and learn to spend in the way of Allah, 
Allah will forgive us and spare us his punishment. Now overcoming the obstacle of your own self, this is only one challenge. After you overcome your own self, you have another challenge, the challenge of a shaitan. Because the shaitan invariably, whenever you're asked or invited to spin, he will come to you and whisper to you with evil suggestions. So I'm asking you today, don't listen to the shaitan. Don't listen to the shaitan when he says, for example, it's your money. You earned it. You can spend it as you please. You don't have to give any of it, not a single dime in charity. Did charity make this money? What are you going to do if you give your money in charity? What are you going to have if you give your money in charity? Allah answers this and He says, آمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَانْفِقُوا مِمَّا جَعَلَكُمْ مُسْتَخْلَثِينَ فِي فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَانْفَقُوا لَهُمْ أَجْرٌ كَبِيرٌ He says, believe in Allah and His Messenger and spend of that over which we have made you trustees. This money is not your money. You have been entrusted with it by Allah. It is Allah's money. And He expects you to do with it that which pleases Him. He goes on, and those who believe amongst you and spend in Allah's way, theirs will be a tremendous reward. What will you have? If you spend, you'll have Allah's reward, which is more precious and more valuable than the wealth that you spend. Don't listen to the devil. When he tells you, this doesn't apply to you. This khutbah has nothing to do with you because it only applies to the rich. And you're not rich, you're struggling financially. Giving charity is the duty of the wealthy people. And you're not wealthy. So this khutbah does not apply to you. Don't listen to that. Because Allah says about the people who are pious. He says, He describes them by saying, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ فِي السَّرَّاءِ وَالْضَرَّاءِ And they are those who spend both in times of prosperity and adversity. قَالُ الْعُلَمَاءِ فِي السَّرَّاءِ يُنْفِقُونَ كَثِيرًا وَفِي الضَّرَّاءِ يُنْفِقُونَ بِقَدْرِ مَا أَمْكَنْ وَلَا يَحْتَقِرُونَ مِنَ الْمَعْرُوفِ شَيْئًا Said that the scholars, scholars of Tafsir, they said when they are wealthy, in good times, when they're prosperous, they spend a lot. They spend a lot because they have a lot. And when they are poor and experiencing difficulty and hardship, they still spend what they can. And they never consider anything they spend too trivial, too minimal, too small to spend. A few dollars they'll give if that's all they have. Don't listen to the shaitan. When he says, there are lots of good deeds that don't entail spending money. Lots of good you can do without opening your checkbook. You don't have to give charity to get to paradise. Don't listen to the shaitan when he tells you that. Because Allah says, لَن تَنَالُ الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ You will not attain al bir righteousness, until you give freely of that which you love. قَالَ ibn Mas'ud وَالْبِرُّ هُنَا الْجَنَّةِ He said, Ibn Mas'ud, Bir in this ayah means paradise. You won't get paradise until you learn how to spend. Don't listen to the shaitan when he tells you what's the worst that could happen if you don't give. It's not like Allah is going to punish you for not giving. Or take back the wealth that He gave you and give it to someone else who will spend in His way. It's not like that's going to happen. What's the worst thing that can happen? Allah answers and He says, أَنْتُمْ هَؤُلَاءِ تُدْعُونَ لِتُنْفِقُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ فَمِنْكُمْ مَنْ يَبْخَلْ وَمَنْ يَبْخَلْ فَإِنَّمَا يَبْخَلُ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ وَاللَّهُ هُوَ الْغَنِيُّ وَأَنْتُمُ الْفُقَرَاءِ وَإِنْ تَتَوَلَّوْا يَسْتَبَدِ الْقَوْمًا غَيْرَكُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَكُونُوا أَمْثَالَكُمْ He says, Behold, you are the ones who have been called to spend in Allah's way. Yet among you are some who are stingy. And whoever is stingy, it is only at the expense of his own soul. He is being stingy against himself, not against Allah. He's not withholding from Allah, he's withholding from his own self. Allah is rich and free of all wants. He doesn't need your charity, and he doesn't need the good deeds that you do, they don't benefit him. 
While you, mankind, are poor, in need of a large reward for your good deeds, and if you turn away after being invited to spend in Allah's cause, he will exchange you with other people, and they will not turn away from giving charity as you have done. Barakallahu li walakum fil Qur'ani wa sunnah. الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Brothers and sisters, my cat is out of the bag. There's no hiding the reason why I'm standing here. I need your help, and the help I'm asking you for is not for me. It is for a very good cause that all of us should get behind. All of us should throw our support behind. The Islamic school is in need of funding. It needs money. This is an effort, a genuine effort, to offer the Muslim community an alternative to public school. This is a cause which all of us should be in favor. And whether we have children in school or not, this is something good, a good cause that we should what? Contribute to. And so after the prayer, we're going to have some light fundraising. And I'm asking you, please, do not fly, run out of the masjid as if it's on fire. It is not on fire. And everybody can give something. Everybody can give something and I don't want no one to leave until you have what? You've made some type of pledge or donated something to help this school. Allahumma izz al-Islam wa al-Muslimin wa dhil al-shirk wa al-mushrikin wa dhammir a'da'aka a'da'a al-millati wa al-deen wa ansur ibadika al-muwahideen ya qawiyya aziz man, ya Allah من أرادنا أو أراد ديننا أو إخواننا المسلمين في أي مكان بسوء فأشغله في نفسه واجعل كيده في نحري واجعل تدبيره تدميرا عليه يا قوي يا عزيز اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار وقوموا إلى صلاتكم الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Brothers, please kindly try to move forward as much as you can even if you have to prostrate on somebody else's foot in front of you move as much as you can الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين
ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لا ثم لا تسألون يوم إذ عن النعيم الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 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 السلام عليكم ورحمة الله 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Yeah, no, I'll just stand on it. I just need support. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Stand there. Brother, don't run out, please. Don't run out yet. All right, please. Listen to the brother. Inshallah. Go ahead, go ahead. Tayyib, Ikhwan, I want to start with pledges. Now, obviously, somebody has to exit, and they want to put a nice stack of money inside one of these boxes that they have going around. That's awesome. But I'm going to start here and now with pledges. And I'd like to start the pledging at about $5,000. I'm looking for a group of brothers who will make the ultimate sacrifice, $5,000 pledge. And you don't have to pay it in one go. You can pay it over time. So can I see a hand for $5,000? Can I see a hand for $5,000? Please, Yer Juan. I know there's a brother. I know there's someone. I just need them to come forward and other people will follow suit. One hand for $5,000, Yer Juan. One hand for $5,000. Hmm. Yeah, Juan, one hand for $5,000. All right, can I get one hand for $3,000? One hand for $3,000. You can pay it over time. One hand for $3,000. Let's get this man a pledge for him. One hand. Can I get another one? Can I get another one for $3,000? Perfect. Somebody with the pledge for him over here, please. Can I get another hand for $3,000? Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand, Yer Juan. Three thousand. Can I get a hand for two thousand, Yer Juan? Two thousand, you can pay it over time. Two thousand, you can pay it over time. Ten payments of two hundred dollars a month. Twenty payments of a hundred dollars a month. Two thousand. Let's go, brothers. Come on. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Can we get another one for two thousand? Two thousand. Two thousand. Got another one right here. Two thousand. Please pledge for him for this man. Two thousand. Over there. Two thousand. Can I get another hand for two thousand, Yer Juan? Please. Two thousand. Two thousand, Yer Juan. Fifteen hundred, Yer Juan. Fifteen hundred. Ten payments of one hundred fifty dollars a month. Fifteen hundred, Yer Juan. Fifteen hundred. Can I see hands for fifteen hundred, Yer Juan? Hands for fifteen hundred. For the school, Yer Juan, for the children, $1,500. $1,500. Can I see hands for $1,000, Yer Juan? $1,000. Yeah, we got hands here. We got hands here. Thank you. $1,000. It's, it's possible, Yer Juan. Ten payments of $100. $1,000. We got $1,000 in the rear. Can we get a pledge form for somebody in the rear? We got another one here, $1,000. And another one here. I mean... Can I get another hand for thousand dollars, Yer Juan? A thousand dollars for the children for the school. Ten payments of a hundred dollars, Yer Juan. Five hundred. I got another thousand over here. I got another thousand over here. Another thousand. Okay, five hundred dollars, Yer Juan. Five hundred. I got a five hundred right here and another one here. Five hundred dollars, Yer Juan, for the school. Five hundred dollars, Yer Juan. Five hundred dollars, Yer Juan, for the school, Yer Juan, for the children. Five hundred, ten payments of fifty dollars a month, Yer Juan. All right, two fifty. Everybody's hand should be up. Two fifty. Two fifty, Yer Juan. Two fifty for the school, Yer Juan. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty, Yer Juan. Jazakallah khairan. There's no mic. There's no mic. There's, there's no mic. mic. Yeah. Listen, Salam alaikum. Okay, brothers, brothers, one second. One second. I'm looking for some brothers who want to compete. Fisibilillah. I want to compete okay. with you or with anybody. Alhamdulillah. I want this to compete. Everybody. I want to compete. I'm giving 500 right now for the school. Anyone can, can meet the challenge. I get 10 more brothers to give 500. Fisibilillah. If somebody if you gives five, it, I give six. In your pocket now. Put your name <clears> down and write it down. You can bring it back tomorrow, later today. I need 10 hands up, inshallah. No, I need to compete. Anybody want to compete Maybe. with we me? We got three right here. I have to compete with somebody. We need seven more. Anyone, minimum, minimum anyone. Seven. 
Five. 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 How much? If you say five, I say six. If you say six, I give seven. If you say a thousand, I say fifteen. Go ahead. Who's going to give the highest bid? Let's go. The highest bid. Anybody? Anybody? Ibrahim, give him a piece of paper. Who can give the highest bid? He's giving five hundred. We need his name. Telephone. Anybody can give a highest bid. A higher bid. We only got four brothers. Come on. Four people donating five hundred. Let's go, brothers. Nobody want to compete. We got one more. That's five now. That's five brothers. We got. We need five more minimum. Minimum. Come on, guys. Five. Nobody want to compete. Let's go. Feasibility live. Get the reward. Nobody want to compete. Increase it. Increase your wealth. Come on, guys. Five brothers. Five anybody. Hundred. Anybody. Let's go. Doesn't matter what is your professional. I'm willing to compete. You if you that? say a thousand, I say twelve. If you say twelve, I say fifteen. Anybody that? want to compete with me? Nobody. Guys, help me so I can get this. This thing blood. out of myself. Come on. Get somebody have to compete with me. Get the angels. To ask Allah, Allah to increase your wealth. And to Can bless somebody you. help me to f beat the shaitan today? Come on. I want this. How much? 100. 200. How much? 500. 500. Come on. Pull Luqman number down. Come on. 300, Luqman. Anybody want to compete? 300. With a piece of paper. Nobody want to compete? Pull Luqman down. Luqman down. It's not going to work here. 500. Come on. This is the last. The highest bid. 500. Anybody? Say 600 and make it saving. Come on. Come on. We need somebody to compete. Subhanallah. May Allah reward you all. May Don't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your families. Don't be scared. Let May it go. May Allah bless your business. Amen. Amen. Last call for competition. Last call. Anybody? Anybody? This is it. Alhamdulillah. May Allah reward you all.